Shalom. This is GMS Son. Let's sit down. coming back with the lesson. Want to give all praises, glory, and the highest honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakah Kadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the elect out there that is spreading this word in society and in truth all over the four corners of the earth. Gone. Uh, this is going to be number two of uh, quick prayer. You know, um, like I said, uh, and number one, you know, uh, every now and then I make a Hebrew prayer, you know, of a, of a psalm or a verse, you know, where a prophet or a man of the Lord uh, basically utters a prayer <clears throat> and I translate it to the Hebrew. So I did that again with the Psalms 143, verse 1. You know, which basically goes into uh, praying to get uh, an answer from Yahweh Bashim Shai. Of course, we know a lot of answers are in the scriptures, but you might find yourself dealing with a certain situation or uh, meditating upon a certain thing that is not uh, clear unto you. So it might be in the scriptures, but it's not clear unto you or it's not revealed unto you what it's actually talking about. So you might be dealing with something. Or you might be dealing with with a certain situation that you really don't know what to do and how to uh, how to deal with it. So you pray unto Yahweh Hashem Yahweh of course, because guess what? The scripture says, the scripture says says this, Psalm uh, Slakia, not Psalms one um, Isaiah fifty eight and one, and Yahweh shall guide thee continually. And satisfy thy soul in drought, and make fat thy bones. And thou shalt be like a watered garden, and like a spring of water, whose waters fail not. So that water represents what? The wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You know, if 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 Yahweh Shai guides you, eventually that's what you, what you uh, what you will receive, man. If if that's what you seek for. So so that's the beauty of being in this truth, man. Uh, as long. As you search for this truth, as long as you uh, long for this truth and long for the wisdom, knowledge, understanding, you will receive it, man. You know, the Most High is going to give you what you're looking for. So, uh, the Most High is our guide, man. Yahweh Shem Shai is our guide, you know, and uh, our uh, protection, our, our buckler and shield, what we need to trust in and believe in. So, while we walk in this truth, you know, the guide needs to be uh, uh you know can be can be asked certain things you know of course the scriptures speak about a wicked generation asking for a sign but that's that's not in righteousness a wicked generation asking for a sign because what he otherwise he doesn't believe you know but we believe and sometimes we just need guidance you know and uh you have to also understand that that guidance is gonna come through certain men because people like to say yeah don't be followers of men but the, the great advice advice comes from great men you know let me grab that real quick um, I believe in Hebrews Hebrews just popped in my head uh, 13 and 7 actually let me see if that's what I think it is Hebrews chapter 13 and 7 remember them which have the rule over you who have spoken unto you the word of the Most High, whose fate follow, considering the end of their conversation. You see, so there are certain men set up that have the rule over you and that give you the word of the Most High, man. So the Most High speaks through them. So it's a good thing that when you ask, when you utter this prayer that I'm about to give you, that you be very circumspect uh, of the things that are going on around you, man. The people that are trying to tell you something and certain situations that that are basically speaking unto you man like i always say you have to build up that spiritual eye when you are in this truth man you shouldn't be carnal minded for years man at a certain point you need to understand that hey the most High is working man the most High is doing things and is answering you through all kinds of things man you know unless you're you're spiritually discerned then the most High is not even gonna do that because you can't see it or he might do it, but to show the other people that are around you, like, you see, this is what's going on. 
I remember there was this bugged out dude in the camp. His tire busted maybe like 20 times, man. His tire busted maybe like 20 times. And then I told him, at a certain point, I told him like, hey, why do why you think your tire keeps busting? Why do you think that? Don't you think there's a spiritual reason behind it? What are you doing? I asked him, what are you doing? I ain't doing nothing, man. I ain't doing nothing. He was doing all kinds of bullshit, man. And the most I was blo blocking that, that hustle of his. So I told him, like, so so what are you doing, man? The most I showing you, like, hey, this thing that you are doing is not good. You know, bust your tire. Make you lose a lot of money. This mon this guy was being greedy for money, man. Most I blocked that 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 income. He, he still didn't want to look at it as a spiritual thing, but we saw it. Then he lost his main income because he he just wanted extra all the th all the damn time, so that that love of money was consuming him. And the most I was showing us while it was happening unto him. So, you know, when you when you pray, when you when you do this prayer, be circumspect of your surroundings, man, because the most I, you know, is gonna speak unto you, man. You have to believe that the most I is gonna give you answers on, on, on how to deal with the situations. Because why? Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai is a guide unto us. You know, we have to put our trust in, in him always. You know, so I'm going to read the, the verse that I translated into the into the Hebrew. This is Psalms 143, verse 1, a Psalm of David. Hear my prayer, O Yahweh. Give air to my supplications. In thy faithfulness, answer me, and in thy righteousness. You know, so that's the beauty, man. You 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 ask Yahweh Bashim Yahshai to to answer your prayer. You know, in, in 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 faithfulness, man. So him beholding your faith and trust and belief, you can you can pray to the heavenly Father to to answer your prayer, man. Which might be a question, or the, which which might which might be um. Uh, uh, um, asking for more faith, which might be asking for more for more wisdom, knowledge, or understanding, for asking uh, 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 for the knowledge to deal with a certain situation that might might occur in the camp, or uh, concerning judge, judging a certain manner, matter, matter, You know there are all kinds of things that you can basically ask guidance because that's really what you're doing, man. When you're asking. Uh, uh, for answers, you asking for guidance, man. You need, you need Yahweh Bashem Yahshai to instruct you in certain in certain ways. And guess what? That's how we learn, man. That's how we learn. And what we know that behind the uh, Hebrew, there is more power, more strength. Why do you think it's being called uh, the Lashawan Kwadash? It means the Holy Tongue. So when we speak in the Holy Tongue, you know this is this is profitable unto us, man. Satan has his tongue. Satan has his language. That's what these what what these devils be using, man. When they conjuring up spirits and entities and stuff like that, demons. You know. So we, when we speak in the in the Lashwan Kodash, you know, put your put your faith and, and belief in it, and 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 feel that this is this is our tongue, man. This is our way. This is our language. So without further ado, I'm gonna read the Hebrew. So again, Psalms 143, verse 1. Hear my prayer, O Yahweh, give ear to my supplications. In thy faithfulness, answer me, and in thy righteousness. So it says, Yahweh, Shem Yahushai, Shemai, Tapalatia, Ha, Azayana, Al, Dacha, Nawanya, Ba'a, Manatka, Ananya, Batasadak, Batasadak. Atka. So let me read it again. Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai Shemai Tabalatia Ha Atasayanawa Aslakia Atasa Atasayana Al Dacha Nawanya Baa Manatka Ainanya Batasadak Atka. You know, so again, for the last time, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Shemai Tapalatia Ha Hazayana Al Tahanawanya 
for Amanatka, Ainanya, Batasadak Atka. So, another scripture that you can meditate upon is a scripture that I often pull. You know, brothers, brothers know it. But that's always to point out the spirituality that we have to uh, keep in mind. So this is Philippians chapter 3 verse 15. Let us therefore, as many as be perfect, be thus minded. And if in anything ye be otherwise minded, the most I shall reveal even this unto you. So the most I is going to reveal unto you if, if, some things, uh, uh, if, if some things occur, man. Or if you are otherwise minded. Or if you're walking in, 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 in crooked ways, man. You know, if you're struggling with something. You know, and that, that shows you that the Most High then is dealing with you. Because He corrects you. The, the Most High corrected the ones that He loves. So, you know, that's a good thing, man. But you got to have your eyes open. You got to have your eyes open to all those messages and those answers of the Most High. That guidance. You know, so, hey, I want to I wanna read it one last time and close the video. So it says, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai Shemai Tapalatia Ha Azayana Al Tachana Tachana Wanya Baamanatka Ainanya Batasadakatka. So with that, I'm gonna say, Call Allahim Yahweh Hashem Yahushai Bashem Kadash Shalom to the elect.